<laughs> hey, Mom. Hi, sweetie. Why are you so late getting home? No reason. I guess I lost track of time. Well, I'm glad you're okay. If you're going to punish me, Mom, do it now. Honey, I'm not going to punish you. I'm just glad you're safe. Yeah, I'm safe. Is there something wrong? No, I'm fine, really. So, how are you and Corinne doing? I know you haven't been getting along very well lately, but... How is she? Fine. I'm gonna go in my room. Hannah, wait. <laughs> this bee was holding me. <laughs> hey. Hannah, are you okay? What if I'm not? Hannah, what's wrong? Nothing. Don't lie to me. I know something's bothering you. Hannah, if you don't talk to me, I can't help you. There's nothing you can do to help me. Well, how do you know that unless you tell me? Okay, I've been holding it in and holding it in and holding it in. Well, then go to the bathroom. I'm serious. Madison, I'm sorry. What's going on? What? You, you do, you did notice that Colleen hasn't been over in a while. Yeah, I know. I have noticed that. But I didn't want to say anything. I, I mean, are you guys fighting? No, we're not fighting. Well, then what's wrong? Corinne's moving this weekend. What? That's only a few days away. Yeah, thanks. So, where is she moving to? She's moving to New Jersey. Why is she moving? Her dad got a new job. And you know Corinne doesn't live with her mom. Yeah, I kind of know that. Are you going to be okay? What if I'm not going to be okay? What can you do about it? I just don't want Corinne to go. Why didn't you tell us about this? I was afraid that if I did, I'd wind up getting upset. But I guess there's no way to avoid getting upset. Because I am. Corinne and I have known each other forever. I know that. I'm really sorry that Corinne's moving. I mean, I know her almost as well as you do. Yeah. Well... All you can do is look on the bright side. There is no bright side to this. Well, the bright side is maybe you'll make a new friend. Maybe a new family will move into Corinne's house and you'll maybe you'll get along better. No friendship is, is as strong as mine and Corinne's is. And can you please not tell Mom? I feel upset as it is. Well, I won't tell her, but... Don't you think she would notice? Mom is a realtor, you know. Yeah. But how come she never told me about Corinne? Because they're not allowed to talk about their job. Yeah, but she still could have told me about Corinne. Well, look, why don't you ask Mom if you're so worried? Did Does Mom know you're upset? Well, kind of, but I wouldn't tell her why I was upset. I just told her I wanted to be alone. Well, Hannah, I think you got to talk to Mom. You're right. I'm going to talk to her. No, don't read the letter. Oh, great. I told him not to read the letter. Now the wedding's going to be ruined. Mom? Hi, sweetie. Are you almost done watching a soap opera? Well, no, but you look like you want to tell me something important. I could always put, put the DVR on and watch it later. That might be a good idea because I really need to talk to you. All right, give me a minute. 
So what's going on? Do you know that Corinne is moving? Yes, honey. I was actually helping Corinne and her family sell their house. Why did you tell me Corinne was moving? Why did you act like you didn't know? Honey, I didn't want to say anything for two reasons. What are those two reasons? Well, number one, I was afraid you would get upset. And number two, I'm not allowed to talk about my job, especially to my family. Everything's confidential. But mom, houses for sale is always in the newspaper. I know, honey, but it doesn't say who lived there. It just gives us a description of the house. Are you okay with Corinne moving? What do you think? I mean, Corinne and I have known each other forever, and now all of that's going to get ruined because Corinne's moving to another state. Honey, I know it's hard. Mom, it's beyond hard. I mean, I want to be Corinne's friend, but how are we going to do that when we're living in totally different states? Honey, I can understand you getting upset. But if yours and Corinne's friendship is as strong as you girls say it is, you'll make it work. I mean, you'll still be able to, to FaceTime her and text her and call her. And I'll even take you to New Jersey once in a while to see her. You'd be willing to do that? Of course, you're my daughter and I want you to be happy. What's Corinne up to now? She's leaving in the morning. Well, did you say goodbye to her? I got mad at her because she never told me. Well, honey, I don't blame you for getting mad. But don't you think it'd be a bad thing if you and Corinne never made up and then Corinne moved away? Go talk to her. Okay. Great. I'm losing my house, and now I'm losing my best friend. You're not going to lose me. Hannah, what are you doing here? I wanted to talk. What are you doing sitting out here by yourself? I don't know. I just couldn't bear to stay in the house looking at all the boxes. So what's up? I want to say I'm sorry for the way I reacted to you moving. I was being selfish. You weren't being selfish, Hannah. I'm the one who was being selfish. I mean, I wouldn't, I didn't tell you I was moving until today and we're going to be leaving this weekend. Yeah, why didn't you tell me? Well, I was going to talk to you before we left. But I guess there was no right time to tell you. Will I ever get to see you again? Of course. We could FaceTime each other and I can come up and visit you once in a while. <laughs> My mom said the same thing. Look, our friendship is really strong. And I don't want to end it just because we're not living near each other anymore. I don't want to end it either. But I'm really going to miss you. I'm going to miss you too. And I'll stop by before we leave to say goodbye officially. I'd like that. I mean, I don't want you to go and saying goodbye me makes everything final, but I still would like to see you before you leave. You will. <laughs> I'm gonna miss you. I'll miss you too.